Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location in Buffalo, New York. This behind me is Salem's Field. It's home of the Buffalo Bisons and for a short time it was home of the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm here to check out a game tonight to see the Buffalo Bisons play. I haven't been here in a long, long time. Really been looking forward to this for a while. So, already got my tickets. Let's go see what kind of trouble I can get into. Do come along. <laughs> City's looking just a little bit hazy from the fires that are going on right now. It should normally be a beautiful day. I think we'll still have a good ball game. The way we're taking today gives us a really nice view of City Hall. I don't get to this part of uh, downtown too often. Nice shot of the M&T building. And we're heading over to Pearl Street to get some dinner. So this is Pearl Street Grill and Brewery. You can tell Check out the tap guy right in the front of the building. That's pretty cool. Here we are at Pearl Street, right by the bar. Great seats. So this is Pearl Street. Although the glare is not doing me very good here. But yeah, it's a nice little restaurant here in downtown, right by the arena and right by the ball field. We like to always come here for a Sabres game or for a Bison's game because this is an amazing place. Not about being a restaurant and a bar, it's actually a brewery as well. Look, Michelle got a nice craft beer. What is this, Michelle? A tiramisu milk stout. All right, cool. And we're waiting for that sip. Good beer, huh? Awesome. I am less creative or explorative. I get my usual standby of Captain and Ginger Ale. What's always fascinating me about here, believe it or not, is this ceiling fan system where they're just like belted from fan to fan to fan and they go like all the way around the restaurant through walls and everything. Very steampunk. So here's the meal. I got chicken tacos, Cajun chicken tacos. We still got a personal pizza. That looks really good. Is that broccoli and cheese? That's a big personal pizza. Here's the amazing taco. Mm. Really good. Some tortilla chips too. And homemade salsa. Now we're taking a two block walk up to Salem Field. So I love about downtown Buffalo, everything is kind of in the same general area. Yeah, there's the M&T building right above us. Oh yes, coming up on Salem's Field. So this is Salem's Field. So we found our seats. We're gonna watch some baseball. I like baseball. Right fielder, number eight. Jordan There's a famous conehead. So for those who don't know, Buffalo Bisons are actually the farm team for the Toronto Blue Jays and for a short time we were actually the home for the Toronto Blue Jays when the borders were closed to Major League Baseball. So, a little bit of fame here. That was a double. Very nice. They're actually looking pretty good tonight. I think it's celery. It looks like asparagus though. Doesn't it look like asparagus? 
this sun is just incredible there. This whole smoke situation in Western New York is just crazy. It needs to end soon. Well, it's the bottom of the third, and the Woo Sox just killed us. I mean, there was like two runners knocked in. I, we had this unbelievable lead, and now it's gone. There's that celery again. It looks like asparagus. So unfortunately, I can't film a whole heck of a lot of the game when it's going on. So I get to film things like this when they're grooming the infield. Okay, so I'll get just a little bit of the game in here. Get some shots from behind home plate. One pitch is not going to hurt us. There you go. Oh! And it was a walk, so hey, kind of a good, kind of a good shot. I always like taking a walk around any kind of stadium. It's always interesting. You've all seen my vlogs. I do love dipping dots. Looks like they have a, uh, you can pitch and see how fast you are as compared to a minor league pitcher. Kind of over here in the bleacher section. A nice shot of the whole field. The lights are really hazy because of the fire. But, yeah, just wanted to get the whole stadium. From this perspective, at least. You know it's Western New York if it's Labatt. I'm gonna journey upstairs and see what the views are like from up there. But, I can stop and take a look at the street here. See what's going on here. Night's starting to settle in here in the city of Buffalo. And uh, it's cool, you kind of like just step out of the stadium temporarily and then go back in. Check it out what's upstairs. Here's the views from up above. Bit of a bird's eye view. Not bad. They also have sweet boxes here that you can rent. And as I recall, they're not very expensive. Yeah, here's the view of the street from up above. It's a church. Very nice. All right, I think it's about time for me to go back to my seat. Okay, it looks like once we're finished clearing the field here, they're going to put on a really cool fireworks show.
Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that is how it's done. That is how you do baseball in Buffalo. Very nice. I always like to film after the games, all the people getting out to the street. Although, I don't know, I, th I think I'm having problems with my lights here. I don't know if this is gonna be a good video or not, especially with those fireworks. But hey, it was fun to watch in person. do it for this video guys i hope you really enjoyed it because i sure enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching be sure to stay tuned i've got much more videos to come until next time signing off from buffalo new york Bye bye